Now let's talk about how to change cross-section types in a stack component. So for whatever cross-section you have selected, you can come and choose your type drop-down and pick any one of the cross-sections that are available in VSP to any other component. In this case, let's say we want to switch from an ellipse to a rounded rectangle similar to what we have here. Now this one has some keystone to it and some extra radius. So what we can do, switch to a hidden view so we can see what's going on here. If we go from an ellipse to where it's taking these feature lines and kind of blending accordingly and go to a similar cross-section type, you can see that the corners are now attached at the corners. And we can choose to key the corner or not, but we can also go to something like a wedge or any of the other cross-section types and we can set them up accordingly. Now, the thing to note that similar to a fuselage, the cord in some of these is going to set your width and T over C is going to set your height. These are for the airfoil type cross sections that you have available. You can go to things like circles and ellipses that are defined the way that you would expect. And then for things like edit curve, if we bring that up, we can move these cross sections around and do some interesting things with them. But the point is that in a stack, you can set the cross section using the cross section type, the drop down, and then set up the parameters accordingly.